Hello, wonderful lovers of Nursing with Abby. How are you all doing today? Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Nursing with Abby. Today, we're going to be celebrating two super Nigerian women. And it's on this segment, Black and Proud. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, beautiful people, on this episode of Nursing with Abby, you know, we are going to talk about two lovely women who made a remarkable mark in their career. And um, I call this episode Black and Proud. Now, why is it Black and Proud? Before I go into that, my name is Nosa Bjordan. I'm a nurse, I'm a midwife, I'm a public health advocate, and I love what I do. On this channel, I talk about nursing, I talk about lifestyle, and I talk about everything in between. Now, I'm a nurse licensed to practice both in Nigeria and in the United Arab Emirates. And this segment, Black and Proud, just um, popped up in my inspiration while I attended the Expo 2020, organized in the United Arab Emirates, Dubai to be precise. I realized that in the country, they allowed a lot of countries to come in to showcase their beauty and splendor. And uh, it just struck in my mind that if we don't celebrate ourselves, who will? So on this segment and every week, I'm going to be showcasing brilliant um, feats achieved by Nigerians, either in Nigeria or even in diaspora. And I hope that as we celebrate these people, we'll also see ourselves better on the international scene. And uh, it's not only about drugs and um, crime or fraud. Every other country has its own bad eggs. But let's just push up the possibilities of Nigeria. And I think it's going to help us a great deal. Now, going back to what I have for you today. Today, I'm going to be talking about Black and Proud. Two wonderful Nigerians who are making a mark. The first person on the list this day is um, a beautiful lady who is a pilot, a female pilot. Now, when you talk about pilots and being female, that's already heisting on the cake. Now, completely top up of the cake is that she's the first Nigerian commercial pilot in Qatar Airways. Yeah, if you know Qatar Airways, it's one of the you know most recognized airways in the world. And she is a, a first Nigerian who is a commercial pilot in that particular airline. And um, she she hails from Nigeria. She's from or your state in Ogumasho to be precise, an Asian city of Ogumasho. And then she studied in the Ladoki Akitana University of Technology, Ogumasho, which is also um, where I studied my BS in nursing. So I'm so excited to talk about her and talk about her feats. Now, she started her uh, aviation career definitely in Nigeria and um, she moved also to Qatar and she joined Qatar Airways in October 2018 and she's been making giant strides in this particular field of hers which is a bit dominant for men but she decided to defy all odds, she decided to brace herself up, be courageous and study so hard that she is celebrated as one of the first Nigerians to drive um, Qatar Airways um, as a commercial pilot and kudos to her, thumbs up to you, thumbs up to Laduke Akitana University of Technology, churning out awesome wonders all around the world. Now, the second person I'm going to be looking up to, uh, to, to looking, talking about is, uh, she's actually an orphan, she's Adeola Ugumola. Did I tell you the name of the commercial pilot? Oh, so sorry about that. The name of the commercial pilot which we are celebrating today is um, Ademola Ugushola, yes, Adiola Ugumola, that's her name. Adiola Ugumola, that's her name, yes. And this is the beautiful one that I'm talking about. Adiola Ugumola. Now, the second person I'm going to be talking about is Amosu um, Bumi. Now, Amosu Bumi is um, of an orphan, but she studied at Lasso. In fact, she came out first class in her set amongst her members, of members of her set. And she graduated to go study master's degree in McLean University in Canada. And the surprising thing about her and why we are showcasing her right now is that she made a perfect CGPA score of 4.4 by 4.4. That is a remarkable feat in an international university. And she has to be celebrated and that's why we are bringing her to the forefront this morning. Now, today, um, she dedicated her achievement to the memory of her late parents. And I really, really, I am moved about that. She said, mom and dad, I hope you are smiling in heaven with my achievement and I dedicate this achievement to you and to all that you have done for me and I really really appreciate her dedicating her you know her achievement to her late parents I know they are definitely going to be happy seeing her blossom and shine 
Go on, girl. Thank you so much for both of you for being wonders, even in your particular um, career or atmosphere. Now, why am I bringing this up to the forefront? Like my sister would always say, she would say that um, when the voice of negativity drown the voices of positivity, definitely. People just go for the voices of negativity. Now, social media is all cooked up with so much information. I call it information overload. And it's important for us to channel most of the information to the positive side so that our young ones, our youngsters, will learn and make these positive ones their role models and not the immoral and negative influences that we find all about. So, for a lot of people who are looking for role models, these are actually role models to model after because they've shown us that what a man can do a woman can do and do much better. And whatever field that you're in, either sciences, architecture, nursing, medicine, teaching, you need to make a mark of excellence where it will be celebrated across the whole world. Now, it's important for you not to seek for excellence just because you need to be celebrated. Seek for excellence for yourself. Always seek for excellence for yourself. And that's what I have for you today on Nothing with Abby. Do you have any comments celebrating these wonderful, wonderful women who are like all them super women of Nigeria? You can put a comment in the comment section. For as many that know them, please celebrate these wonderful ones because they've actually made us proud as Nigerians. They're actually in diaspora, but they are doing so much wonder and they still relate with home. Their names do not change. They are still having wonderful names. Both of them are from the Yoruba land of Nigeria. Thank you so much for being a light shining positivity even into the world in these negative times. Till I see you in my next episode, be safe, be good, and put a smile on somebody's face. Bye for now.